This is a, a good little test for Mo. He's just come back from Kenya, as we all know. Heavy, heavy training. I know he's got. He's a bit tired in the legs. And the likes of Smirnov here will be thinking, oh, I wonder if I've got a bit of a chance here to get a good scalp. It's their event that he's coming down to. Carsten Schlangen, certainly European silver medalist in Barcelona, will be a threat. 31 years of age now. Next to him will be Tommy Schmidt in the United States. It says in my notes here that Tommy Schmidt here was a former basketball player. He must have sat on somebody's shoulders because he's not very tall. Next to him, though, listen to the roar for Mo Farah. Hugely popular, and he deserves all of the attention he's getting, but he has to keep it all in check, and he has to concentrate on what he's trying to achieve, and today it's about beating this man pretty much, Augustine Chogi, former Commonwealth 5000 meter champion, in his day would have given Mo a great race at 5000 meters, but is a good, good, very good world-class 1500 meter runner. Didn't have a good year in 2011, it has to be said, after a good start, in the indoor season, didn't really materialise for him in the summer, so he'll be wanting to test Mo Farah here. So this is the start of a little free race series for Mo. He'll run a mile in. Oh, don't trip up. <laughs> he'll run the mile in Boston, and then he'll be running two miles. Of course, we'll be seeing him in the Birmingham Grand Prix. So a little racing period coming off the back of what's been a tough training, mileage out there in Kenya, and he'll have some of that in his legs for sure. It's a question of really, can he find a bit of pace yet? And to be honest, Paul, I don't think he'll be too disappointed that his main rival here, Chogi, is set off through the first 200 at a good pace, 29 seconds, just to get them moving along. So Mo Farah is trying to get his racing legs on early doors in 2012. And every time he steps onto the track now, as he moves up, past the Russian, past Schlangen, and onto the shoulder of Chogi. Every time he comes onto the track, there's going to be so much expectation from the British public, who absolutely adore him. His first 1,500 metres since 2009. Since then, of course, concentrating on the longer distances. The reigning European champion at three different distances, including, of course, outdoors, or indoors rather, 3,000 metres. But let's not forget about Schlangen. I think you intimated right at the beginning he could be a contender. The German, the tall German there, just running in fourth place ahead of the American. But at the moment it's still Chogi. Then it's Mo Farah. And then Smirnov. So Chogi maintaining this decent pace. And uh, Mo will be pleased because his uh, personal best, unbelievably, is still only 340, which goes back to the UK Championships back in 2009. And uh, if they keep this going and speeding up of course on the last lap he'll certainly break that and I think it's good this it's a good hard run it's nothing silly but for indoors this is quite quick 159 through the first 800 and Chogi knows how quick Mo Farah is he knows that he's got pace Chogi has himself but I don't think he'd want to back himself in a, just a sit and kick race and look at Mo he's full of running he's full of confidence the crowd respond and he's just sensed that things were slowing a little bit. The others were bunching up behind, and it's better for him to keep moving hard. And then, yeah, if he has to win it from the front, let's do it that way. Two and a half laps to go, Mo Farah. Just looking upwards and to his left slightly, but there's no screen up there. They're going to come through the line this time. A little stumble there by Mo Farah, 400 metres to go. Mo Farah leads, Chogi going into the lead now. I uh, just got caught out there. He didn't want to give up the inside, and Chogi has uh, stuck to the task. Now Mo, though, with that, it, that injection of pace from Chogi, just needs to latch onto the back of him, which he's doing. Yes, it's hurting. There's that grimace when we know that Mo's just digging a little bit deeper here. He won't want to let Chogi dominate this race. Here he comes again. He wants to get in front. The crowd responding. The noise is incredible here. Mo Farah back in front. A real ding-dong battle between these two. Chogi's not broken yet. And Farah kicked at the wrong time in the 10,000 meter final in Daegu. He got it right in the 5,000 meter final. Has he got it right here today? The world champion 
trying to hold off the former Commonwealth champion. The crowd are on their feet in the home straight, and Farrell's hanging on. He gets the victory for Britain. Well, if that's given us even just a taste of what's to come in the summer, then Mo knows that it's going to be hard work. The crowd really helped him there on the last lap. The noise was unbelievable, and what a send-off for the Kelvin Hall. It's always produced a great atmosphere. That might have been the loudest I've ever heard them. And Mo needed that support over the last 50 metres or so. It was tough, that. There'd been the little surges. Chogi had been a worthy competitor here. And look at this here, Paul, scrapping to try and hold on. He had to cede to Chogi, but then he had just enough on the last lap to come back again. Yeah, he could have been for forgiven for thinking at this point, with just around 300 metres to go, that Chogi had got it. But you forgot about the fact that Mo Farah is a fighter. This, the last ever track event in the last track and field meeting ever to be held at Kelvin Hall. And boy, did we leave the best till last. Tremendous finish. And Mo Farah fought his way back into the lead. Chogi looks so, so relaxed in second. But Mo Farah, as we know from his exploits in 5,000 and 10,000 metre running last year, is a real fighter. Absolutely wonderful finish by Mo Farah. Sets himself up beautifully, mentally and physically, for the remainder of the year. And who knows what the Briton can achieve during the rest of 2012. Well done. It's a new personal best, a new stadium record, and it, more importantly, it was a win for Mo Farah. He's with Phil now. That all sounds great, Steve. A uh, new personal best, a new stadium record. Obviously, th this event's not going to be here anymore, so what a way to, to see it sent off, if you like. A fantastic win by you, Mo, and uh, this crowd right behind you all the way. Oh, yeah, this crowd's amazing, and I'm really happy to win. Uh, they just got right behind me, and I can't believe how much noise there was. <laughs> and on all the years I've been coming here, and I'm sure you yourself, I've never heard a noise like that when you were introduced to the crowd. What does that do to you? It means a lot, and, you know, it's nice to see the whole crowd get behind me and I just, I'm just really happy. And as for the race itself, there was a bit of a bit of a tussle with Chogi, you don't want to lose ground to him or lose the, the inside lane to him. You came fighting back, tell me about the tactics there. Oh yeah, I had to definitely stay on the inside line, I've been told my coach, trying to run the shortest distance and just um, don't let him go in front of you within two laps to go. Well, listen, this is just the start of what I'm sure is going to be a magnificent year for you. Keep it going, go and enjoy the celebrations with the crowd. Do. And I just want to say, uh, I'm going to auction this kit I'm wearing, the spikes and everything, for Mo Farah Foundation. So get bidding, everybody. It's on the website, www.mofarahfoundation.co.uk, and it's for the charity. That's a fantastic cause, and uh, cool. I'm sure there'll be lots of takers after that, Mo. Cool, well thank done. you, everyone. Cheers. Cheers, Phil. That's well done, indeed. Here's the numbers for you. 55.3, last 400, 27.8, last 200. And that's done with, I can tell you, he is tired. He's just come from Kenya. He's got a lot of mileage in his legs. And to come and run well at 1,500 metres bodes well for the rest of the indoor season and, of course, further afield into the summer. So there's that stadium record, 339.03. Chogi taking second place. Personal best for the Russian in third, 339.89.